Okay, hello, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Today, we're going to be playing Pokemon Anil, which is a completed Pokemon fan game that I found on Relic Castle. So, uh, yeah. If you want to play the game yourself, the link will be down below. With that being said, let's begin. Okay, new game. Hey. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon world. My name is Samuel Oak, although people know me better as Professor Oak. This world is inhabited by fascinating creatures called Pokemon. That is a Poliwhirl. Cool. For some people, Pokemon are companions that can always be counted on. Others like myself are dedicated to researching them to learn all about them. And there are also people who are dedicated to training them and using them to fight. They are known as Pokemon Trainers. This is where you come in. Why don't you tell me a little about yourself? Okay. What do you look like? We'll go with the classic red. Can you give more details about your appearance? Oh, cool. Okay. Um, we'll go with middle. I see. Could you also tell me what your name is, please? Is your name Mark? Yes. This here is my grandson. You have been friends since childhood, although, although you have also developed a healthy rivalry. The problem is that I don't remember his name. Don't hold it against me. I have five children, so imagine the number of grandchildren. Could you remind me of his name, please? Um, okay. We'll just call him Blue. Ah, of course. He was called Blue. Wow, my memory. Well, your very own Pokemon adventure is about to begin, Mark. Dreams, adventures, challenges, they all await you in the wonderful world of Pokemon. Go ahead. All right. Let's get this adventure start. Oh, hello. Select the game mode. Okay. So we have classic mode, only gens 1 and 2 Pokemon, complete mode, all gens Pokemon, and radical mode, all gens Pokemon plus hard mode. That sounds like my kind of game mode. I may regret it, but we'll see. Notice, Pokemon Indigo is already a somewhat difficult game on its own, more so than an official Pokemon game. The Radical mode adds extra difficulty to important enemies and also prohibits healing items during battle. It also forces you to play in fixed battle mode, with no possibility to change it. It is aimed at those people who are looking for an extreme challenge. Do you still want to activate this mode? Um, like I said, I may regret it, but we'll go for it. We'll go for Radical mode. Select the difficulty mode. Okay, so we had mode normal with no additional rules and nuzlocke mode. Pokemon die if they are fainted. We'll stick with normal. All right, cool. And I can run. Perfect. You kept a potion next to the PC. Better take it with you. Better take it for the journey ahead. Perfect. I guess that's life. Children grow up and undertake their own endeavors, far from home. Whatever happens, remember that your mother will always be proud of you on your Pokemon adventure. Thanks, Mom. I appreciate it. Pallet Town. 
Soon, I will become a Pokemon trainer. I'm only a few months away from my 10th birthday. I can't wait to find out what my starter Pokemon will be. If you're going out and about, don't forget to eat well, and don't neglect feeding your Pokemon either. Berries like this one, for example, drive them crazy. Okay, free orange berry. I'll take it. Professor Oak settled in Pallet Town with his family about 30 years ago. He says it was the best decision of his life, since the rural climate helps him in his research. He's even built a secret garden in his lab, or so the rumors say. A secret garden. Hmm. If I wanted to, Grandpa would have given me another starter Pokemon and another Pokedex. But the truth is that I prefer to... I prefer to stay here and relax, nowhere like home. Spending time with your Pokemon is the best thing you can do in life. I would even sacrifice the time I have spent with a family member in exchange for more time with my dear Vileplume. Wow. Okay. I love the flowers. Good thing there are so many around here. Although, if one day a person with allergies comes along, he or she will have a hard time. If you're playing on Android and you have a lag when surfing, put a flying type Pokemon first on your team to fix it. Okay, interesting. Today's technology is amazing. Too bad we missed it, because the internet doesn't reach all the way to Palatown. A good trainer always makes sure to carry a few Pokeballs with him or her. I would give you some, but right now I don't know where I left them. The Great Professor Oak is in eminence not only of regional stature, but of world stature, I would say. His research has been key to discovering many new species of Pokemon. Have you seen my grandpa? He had called us to come to his lab as quickly as possible, but I don't see him anywhere. If you need to heal your Pokemon, come to me, and we will use this machine. Sounds good. Alright, let's go to the tall grass. Wait, Mark. Hey. Where are you going, you fool? Don't you know how dangerous it is to go into tall grass without Pokemon? Let's fix that. Come on, come with me to the lab. Grandpa, are you going to tell me why you needed us so urgently? I'm sick of waiting. Ah, yes. I had called you for something important, of course. Look, in those Pokeballs, there are three Pokemon. I think you are old enough to get your first Pokemon and learn how to battle with it. In my youth, I was a great trainer, you know. But I'm getting old. I feel like retiring for good. But as a last legacy, I would like you to become competent trainers too. Well, that won't be a problem. I'm the best. I've surpassed you in everything since we were little, Mark. And as a show of goodwill, I'll let you choose your Pokemon first. Come on. Okay, cool. What is this? Oh, it's a Pikachu. Ah, that Pokemon. It's a Pikachu that I found abandoned near here. It's a bit of a rebel, 
but if you still want to take care of it, you can. Do you want this starter Pokemon? Um, I do not. Okay, we have Bulbasaur. Charmander. And Squirtle. Which starter am I going to go with? Um... I think we're going to go Bulbasaur. Yes. It's a very friendly Pokemon. You'll get along great with it. Aha! You've fallen into my trap, Mark. Since I'm second, I'll choose the Pokemon that has an advantage over yours. You're competitive, huh? But hey, now you've both got your starter Pokemon. You're ready for adventures. Okay, I don't think I like that nature. Has boosted defense and lowered speed. Tackle and growl. Um, should I, we got an Orenberry. Should I give him the Orenberry? Just to make sure we win this first battle? Might be a waste of an Orenberry, but oh well. Not so fast, Mark. Are you going to leave without even using your first Pokemon? Don't be so lazy. Let's see which one is stronger. Come on, Bulbasaur. You can do this. I believe in you. Get a critical hit, please. Oh, good critical hit. Well, all right, cool. Bah. Beginner's luck. It was a good warm-up, but next time, I'll be much stronger. I plan to take on everything I encounter to make my Pokemon stronger. And now, I'm leaving. I don't have a second to waste. Hey. Dude, that hey. Every time it startles me because I'm not expecting it. One last thing before you go, Mark. There is a third person missing to whom I have to deliver a Pokemon to. They were supposed to come from Viridian City. In addition, they also had an important package to deliver to me. I don't think anything serious has happened to them, but I'm starting to worry. What if they got lost along the way? If it's not too much trouble, Mark, could you go to Viridian City to meet that person? Yeah, okay. Is my Pokemon healed? It is. Good. Let's also take that Orenberry away since we didn't really need it. Okay, Route 1. Oh my god. Dude. That's a Litleo. Uh, I have no Pokeballs. I might have to come back and catch this. I did not expect to find a Litleo on Route 1. Just started your Pokemon adventure. Then don't forget to visit the store. You will find it inside each Pokemon Center. Look, I'll give you a sample potion. Oh, thank you. You're too kind. Ooh, tiny mushroom. See those small ledges? They can be a little scary, but you can jump them if you're not too clumsy. Come on, give it a try.
Have you already measured yourself against a trainer? Remember that if your Pokemon has more speed than your opponent, it'll attack first. Even if you have a full team of six Pokemon, you can still catch Pokemon. Pokemon that don't make it to your party will be sent directly to your PC. Hello trainer, what do you need? Leader levels. Oh, it's the gym leader levels. Okay, cool. Oh, wow. Um, everything here is very expensive. 400 for Pokeballs. 500 for Potions. 5k for a revive. And I'm broke. <laughs> hey, it's a what the? It's a little park here. That's kind of cool. One day, my son will also go out and go out on adventures, but I'm a little scared. Aren't they too young to travel alone out there? They should wait at least until they're, they're 18 years old. The other day, a butt catcher told me that there are two Caterpillar Pokemon. Caterpie is not poisonous, but Weedle is. Be careful, and try not to get bitten. I welcome you to Viridian City, Trainer. In addition to the Pokemon Gym, we also have a school for new trainers. The gym leader is away at the moment. Could you come back in a bit? Come on, Nidoran. We will put we will put into practice everything we have learned at school. Go, Caterpie. Use string shot to slow it down. Your Pokemon follows you. Wow, I'm so envious. It must be great to be able to walk around with your favorite Pokemon. Too bad I won't be able to catch any. I'm studying the type table. For example, Eevee is a normal type, which means it has hardly any weaknesses. It's only weak against fighting type. Apparently, if you walk next to your Pokemon, you will improve your friendship with it. I didn't know that. I can't see the board well. Thank goodness I brought my glasses. Wait, I brought two. Well, here, take it. It's for you. Oh wow, wise glasses. That's very good. Slightly boosts special moves. Nice. What do we have here? Someone who wants to learn. Are you up for a little quiz to test your basic knowledge of Pokemon battles? Good. First question. What are flying types effective against? Um, grass bug fighting. Correct. What type is Onyx? Rock and ground. Correct. Third question. What item cures poison in Pokemon? Antidote. Correct. Oh, I see you've been studying a lot. I think you deserve a little reward for your effort. You can keep this. A silk scarf. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and give that to Bulbasaur for now. Are you training Pokemon? Wow, you're very brave. Then this could come in handy. XP2. Many trainers find the gym closed when they arrive here 
as the leader spends half of his time out of town. What an irresponsible man, whoever that leader is. Yeah, I wonder who that is. I'm too old to play with dolls. I'd rather play with Pokemon. Fair enough. Viridian City has an in invi inviable urbanism that harm harmon harmoniously combines nature with human hands. Inventing nicknames for Pokemon can be a very entertaining way to reinforce their personality and the bond that unites you with them. The key is to know how to choose catchy and easy, easy to remember nicknames. For example, uh, Pepito seems to, seems to be a very endearing nickname. I think my grandfather has been drinking too much. Can you come back later? I'm trying to revive him. Everything is spinning. I would like to go to Pewter City more often to visit my grandchildren, but having to traverse the winding Viridian Forest exhausts me. You're young. You have to live life to the fullest. I wish I had been given the same advice when I was your age. Look, I'll give you this TM to get the most out of life. TM83 workup. Cool. Can Bulbasaur learn workup? It can. Perfect. Increases attack and special attack. Tell me, kid. Would you like to catch a lot of Water-type Pokémon? Yes. Great. Water-type Pokémon, in addition to being strong, are also very beautiful. With a fishing rod, you can get them all. Do you have a Pokédex? Do you intend to capture all the Pokémon in the region? No. In that case, I advise you to visit the store inside the Pokemon Center frequently to buy all the Pokeballs you might need. Please escape. Please, Bulbasaur. You have to escape. Thank you. All right. Ah, this, uh, what do you want? I, I have a lot to think about right now. Did you come from Professor Oaks? Right, we had agreed that I would go to his lab today to get my starter Pokemon. The problem is, it's just that I've never left Viridian City. I don't even know which way Palatown is. In that direction, you say. Oh, and you had come you had to come looking for me from such a long way away. I'm off to a good start. My name is Leaf. I really appreciate you coming to pick me up. I'll go see Professor Oak in no time, I promise. In fact, I think you have to go back too, don't you?
What do you want now, Grandpa? I have a lot to do. My Pokemon have to get stronger. Relax, little son. You're just getting started. Leaf, my dear girl, did you bring me that important thing? Yes, here, wait. Here you go. Aha! Three Pokedex units from Hoenn. Huh? Pokedex? What's that? Well, this is top secret, but... For a few years now, I've been collaborating on a project with a technology company in Hoenn. We wanted to build a kind of electronic Pokemon encyclopedia so that trainers could record and consult information on any species. Great. With that encyclopedia, I'll be able to know which Pokemon are the best. Well, I... The Pokedex is currently empty. These are the first units that have been built. That's why I wanted to ask you for an important mission. Would you be willing to fill it with information about all the Pokemon in the Kanto region? But that's impossible. There are hundreds of Pokemon species to discover. It is not impossible. I did it. I was able to get them all. I... I will do it, Professor, o Professor Oak. I don't know if I'll, I will be much help, but you trusted me with this. Well said. Well, I'll give each of you a Pokedex. I'll also give you some Pokeballs and starter potions to get you off to a good start. Plus the Poke Vial, a must-have tool for every trainer. Cool. What a nuisance. I wanted to challenge the gym leaders. You can, Blue. Your Pokemon adventure is up to you. But if you can, fill up the Pokedex along the way. What I'm going to do is ask my sister for a Pokey Radar to find out which Pokemon appear in each area. Don't even think of visiting her and asking her first. Mark, Leaf, only one of us three can become a Pokemon Master, and it'll be me. Your first destination should be Pewter City. There lives a very nice guy named Brock, who is a gym leader. If you defeat him, he will give you his gym badge, and you can become challengers to one day participate in the Pokemon League. What? My brother wants to ask me for a Pokey Radar. Let him cope without it. He still owes me the money I lent him when he went on vacation to another region. What if I give it to you? That would make him very angry. Alright, cool. We now have a Pokey Radar. 